We just tuned our guitar, we didn't tune it, I'm sorry, we just changed the strings on our guitar, now we have to tune it. Um, doesn't sound too good, so uh, let's, let's do that. Uh, so we're going to start with our lowest string just because it's, it's closest to me and I'm lazy. So uh, what I want to do is kind of have this thing facing me and I'm, I'm going to hit the string. It's telling me right now that it's a D, okay, which is not good. You want it to be E. So now we've got to figure out where's D um, in relationship to E and it's lower, right? D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. So you want to bring that up a whole step. So we're going to grab our tuning peg, we're going to hit it first, we're going to let it ring, and we're going to see where it registers, okay? It's telling us now we're at an E. There we go. Okay, after we get to an E, we have to get this little needle so that it's right in the middle. When it's on zero, then we're doing pretty good, okay? So there we are. We have the light here that tells us we're on E, but we're still not in tune. It's bouncing between an E and a D, so let's, let's bring it up. And you want to let it ring. Don't choke it. Let it ring because you gotta you gotta let the thing pick up what's going on here. Okay. And now we're gonna just tune it up until we see that needle get to zero. Which we're almost there. There. That's basically in tune. If it you know these things kind of get funny a little bit and they spin around on you, and I wouldn't worry too much about it. You get it close, and it, it should be good. Okay. Uh, right, so let's go on to the next one. Okay, so where we left off is we did this D. We had that basically in tune. Um, although it's going to stretch and it's going to go out, like I said. So the w there's a couple ways to tune it, the next string, using this D string. Um, what I would start with is going to the fifth fret. So count up one, two, three, four, five. Fifth fret, that's where the first or second dot is, depending on your guitar. Um, you're going to grab that, you're going to fret that string, right? And you're going to play the D string on the 5th fret. Okay, now that is going to be the same note as the G string rung open. So if they're not the same, you know something's wrong. So now you have to make a decision. Which one is higher? Okay, I think the first one is higher. So that means that my D string, it means that my G string is flat because I need to bring that up. Give it, you know, just do like eight turns at a time. Don't do too much because it's really easy to overshoot. It's still a little bit, right? Still a little bit. A little more. And this is where you got to use your ears. What you got to listen for is the beating. What I mean by the beating is. You hear that? Na, 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 na. That means it's out of tune. When the waves come together, that's how you know it's in tune. It's really frustrating at first for a lot of people to get, so just try it for a little bit. If you can't get it, go back to the tuner. All right, now we're approaching what we call the magic string. That's your B string, okay? Because it's not tuned to the same interval. It's not going to line up on the fifth fret. So when you get to the B string and you want to tune that, using the G string, you have to go to the 4th fret. That's the only difference. All the rest of the strings, you tune from the 5th fret, okay? So you take the 4th fret, and you're going to play it, and then you're going to play your B string. That's a little out, right? That's flat again, right? It's a little flat. So we're going to bring it up. You're going to tune it counterclockwise, and there it is. That's pretty close, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you one more tuning technique that's using harmonics. It's similar to going like this, but I, I feel like I hear a little bit better when I do it this way. So to do a harmonic, you put your first finger, or any, any finger you want, I use the first finger, you put it right above the fret of the fifth fret, okay? But don't push down. Just lay your finger across it, hit the string, and at the same time that you hit the string, right, right after you pluck it, you're going to lift your finger up. It's going to sound like this. Okay, I'll show it to you again. Put the finger down, put your pick down and ready to pluck it, without pushing down, directly over the fret, the fifth fret, you hit it, and then you lift up your pointer finger. Like that, okay, so now you want to do it there, and now, to make it um, correspond to the next string, you're going to hit the seventh fret of your next string, okay? So it's going to sound like this. 
Okay, and you hear them two to, the two of them together. That's a little flat, so I'm going to bring it up, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to stretch it out. Okay, now when you get to the B string, what I like to do is hit the seventh fret harmonic of my low E string, and then I hit my B string. It's the same note. So that's a little flat to be expected. Don't slice yourself when you do this. A little flat again. Stretch it out a couple more times. Try it again. Okay, that's good. And there you go, your guitar is in tune. Uh, it can be frustrating, as you see, I, I sort of struggled with it. And I've restrung a lot of guitars and I've tuned a lot of guitars, so that, that is a little bit frustrating. But, um, you know, just practice, keep trying. It's hard to hurt it. Just don't, you know, try not to tweak it too far. Um, use a tuner, okay? Definitely try to do it with your ears, but when you get into a rut and you're getting frustrated, go back to the tuner, okay? Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can get something out of it. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks a lot.